next eighth problem find the value of one plus i all to the power of six. So, we have to find out the value of 1 plus i all to the power of 6. Whenever we come across these kind of problems, it had better to change it to the polar form. Polar form means cos theta plus i sin theta form. So, that De Moore's theorem can be applied. So, that we can simplify the given problem. So, that means in order to find out the value of 1 plus i all to the power of 6, first step is express 1 plus i in trigonometric form, polar form or mod amplitude form. So, first, so let us consider this 1 plus i equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So, here first r value root of a square plus b square. This is root of 1 plus 1, 1 square plus 1 square that is root 2. Theta is equal to tan inverse b by a. So, tan inverse 1 which equal to 45 degrees. Since this 1 plus i is same as 1 comma 1 order pair lies in first quadrant. In first quadrant theta is equal to tan inverse b by a. Therefore, this 1 plus i is equals to root 2 times cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4. In the last module, we have discussed how to change Cartesian form into the polar form. This is the polar form. Now, coming to the problem 1 plus i all to the power of 6 is equal to root 2 times cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4 all to the power of 6. See root 2 to the power of 6, root 2 to the power of 6 means half into 6 2 cube that is 2 cube. We can apply De Moore's theorem. So, this is cos 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 sorry 6 pi by 4, this is 6 pi by 4. 6 by 4 we can write in actually simplest form. So, that is equals to 8 2 cube is cos 3 pi by 2 plus i sin 3 pi by 2. What is 3 pi by 2? 3 pi by 2 is 270 degrees. Let us see cos 3 pi by 2, this is cos 272 degrees plus 0 we can write. Cos 270 plus theta is actually we have sin 0, sin 0 is equal to here how much cos here. So, cos 270 plus 0 is sin 0, sin 0 is 0. Now, sin 3 pi by 2, sin 3 pi by 2 is sin of 3 pi by 2 plus 0 degrees that will be minus cos 0 that equal to minus 1, that will be equal to minus 1. So, this is now 8 times 0 plus i into minus 1. This is 8 into minus i. So, minus 8 i. Ninth problem. 
find root 3 by 2 plus i by 2 whole to the power of pi minus root 3 by 2 minus i by 2 whole to the power of phi. That means indirectly we have to simplify this problem. So, now consider this expression root 3 by 2 plus i by 2 whole power phi minus root 3 by 2 minus i by 2 whole power phi. Root 3 by 2 we can write cos 30 cos 60 is 1 by 2 whereas root 3 by 2 is equivalent to cos 30 cos 30 means pi by 6 cos pi by 6 this we can write i sin pi by 6 whole power phi and next this we can write cos pi by 6 minus i sin pi by 6 all to the power of phi. For the first term apply de Moore's theorem, for the second term also apply the de Moore's theorem. So, applying de Moore's theorem we get cos phi pi by 6 plus i sin phi pi by 6 minus cos phi pi by 6 minus i sin phi pi by 6. Now, cos phi pi by 6 plus i sin phi pi by 6 minus cos phi pi by 6 minus into minus plus i sin phi pi by 6. What will happen you see? These two terms will be gets cancelled. We have 2 i sin phi pi by 6. We know phi by 6 is 30, 5 into 30 is 150, 150 we can write 180 minus 30. So, this we can write 2 i into sin of 180 pi minus pi by 6. Sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. So, we get 2 i into this is sin 30. We know sin 30 is 1 by 2, 2 i into 1 by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled. We have i. This is the simplification value. Now, we shall move to the next problem that is 10th one. Simplify, simplify cos alpha plus i sin alpha whole to the power of 4 by sin beta plus i cos beta whole power 4. We have to simplify. Okay. Consider this expression cos alpha plus i sin alpha whole to the power of 4 by sin beta plus i cos beta whole power 4. Here if you just observe this problem for numerator directly we can apply the de Moore's theorem. Can we apply the same de Moore's theorem for numerator denominator? No, because it is not in the form of cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power of n. That is why this i has to be taken common out. 
So, that means, just some simple manipulation has to be done in this problem. So, in this problem we can do like this cos alpha plus i sin alpha whole power 4. Now, instead of this 1 I will write here minus i square i square is minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 into sin beta plus i cos beta whole power 4. Okay. From these two we can take out i common cos alpha plus i sin alpha whole power 4 by i common if you take i common you get cos beta minus i sin beta all to the power of 4. Now, apply de Moore's theorem. This is cos 4 alpha plus i sin 4 alpha by i to the power of 4 into cos 4 beta minus i sin 4 beta. So, here i to the power of 4, i to the power of 4 means i square whole square that is 1, this will be 1. So, this we can write cis 4 alpha by cis minus 4 beta. In the last episode we have discussed cis a by cis b means cis of a minus b, cis a by cis b is equal to cis of a minus b. So, we can write cis of 4 alpha minus of minus 4 alpha plus 4 beta. This is cis of 4 common alpha plus beta. This is the simplification.